push today. Give it everything you got. Let's go. Now you're learning. Man, your next opponent is going to be no match for you. Nice punch. Nice punch. You felt that one. about that punch damaged him right power i love it let's go 20 to go beautiful combination i love it keep it up put the pressure on him great job in there i can already see some improvement in your punches Effective takedown. So let's drill single and double leg takedowns all day. Let's go. Hey, great job. Do it again. Right there, exactly. That's what I want to see. Keep avoiding those. All right, I like it. Swap your focus to the next set. There you go. Yep. Keep doing that. Control. Let's go. 30 on the clock. That's it. Yes, keep that up. Don't worry about it. We'll keep drilling this. We'll get better. All right, coming up next is the UFC lightweight division bout. Well, it's always exciting when you have such a high-level Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. This man has been a master of the submission in the UFC, and even though a lot of people know what's coming, more often than not, they're unable to stop. Because the knowledge, the knowledge of the jiu-jitsu game is truly something that it's hard to replicate when a guy is as good as he is. I mean, he will jump for a triangle. He will jump for an arm bar. And as you slam him to the ground, he starts to understand, okay, I'm right where I need you right now. This is when the game starts for him. If he doesn't secure that submission, 
He gets you where he needs you to be in order to start to really make you drown. It's like going in deep water oh. and getting pulled down over and over again because every time you think, if I do this, it'll make it better, it just makes it work. And best of luck trying to find a training partner to simulate this guy in the gym. It can't happen, and it won't happen. All right, here's the lightweight contender, former University of Northern Colorado wrestler, Justin Gaethje. We've spent a lot of time with this young man. We both think he is one of, if not the most exciting fighter in the sport today. But he doesn't lean on those wrestling chops. He's worried about wrestling fatigue, and the results certainly speak to him having the right approach. Like. As you said, John, University of Northern Colorado wrestler, All-American. Right. He was an All-American, but to this point, he has not scored one takedown. He doesn't need to. He wants to go in there, and he wants to fight. He said he shows up to put on it, a highlight. His nickname's the highlight, and he has earned that and is justified every time he steps foot in the octagon. Just a fantastic mixed martial artist with a full toolbox of skill at his disposal. And when he has faced adversity, he has come back stronger than ever. Ask his recent victims, James Vick and the aforementioned Edson Barbosa. All right, ready to go for round one, and to the surprise of some, he won his last fight by submission. So with momentum, he enters this, the highest profile spot of his career, trying to keep that obvious momentum going. Can he realize the UFC title shot by the end of the year? That round's gonna try to attack the more here. Not tapping out tonight. All right, side control now, DC. When you get side control in a fight, what are you doing? now trying to hip escape? He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. Wow. Gate she's got him in a crucifix now. Gonna go to work from the top. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. Submission defense there. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestling stand-up. Get to your knees, pose your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your hands, stand up, fight hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free-flowing than a half guard in the side control, because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free, so you have more freedom to use your. Single collar tie now, and an immediate transition to the judo throw right into side control. He's in side control, he's got a ton of options. Side control now, DC, a lot of options at his disposal from here. Looks like he's transitioning to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. He's a tough armbar now. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. And this might just be a matter of time. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. Here we are, early round two. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? 
Gaethje's head kick looked like that one was blocked. Oh, big head kick lands. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations to me. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well if he drops a big right hand. Taken down by one. Oh, attempting to go for the leg now. Rolling leg lock in MMA, man, as you get beat up, especially if you're a little bit hurt. He should be defending right now. And this might just be a matter of time. Somehow stays in the fight. Now into his mouth. A submission opportunity here. Oh, wow, oh! Nicely done. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way. Wildland's going for the rear naked choke. Submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 32 seconds of round number 2. For the winner by submission, Wilder! Alright, so there he is, all smiles and rightfully so after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that he was going to submit him and that's exactly what happened. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. And his opponent is known to lay in the guard. He made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. 